hey guys welcome back to our channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep subscribing liking commenting sharing watching everything that you guys do we really appreciate hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just drop the name or the link down below and i'll check it out find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse head there to say hi we'll say hi back our vlogging channel funny and jesse 2.0 subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm going to be reacting to top five reasons people convert to islam episode 25 so without wasting time let's get into the video In this episode of For All Humans, we look at why people choose to embrace the religion of Islam. The Economist says Britain sees about 5,200 conversions a year, and in America, nearly a quarter of Muslims are converts. Have you ever wondered why? Let me share with you the five top reasons why new Muslims embrace Islam. The first reason cited by many converts is their exposure to some aspect of Islamic culture, from architecture to calligraphy to prayer. The solace and tranquility brought by the Adam, the Islamic call to prayer recited from the mosque to announce each of the five daily ritual prayers, has attracted many non-Muslims to Islam. In 2018, the independent newspaper told the story of a Scottish man who had not actually properly met a Muslim person and who had happened to hear the call to prayer when he was on holiday in Turkey. He said, it woke something up inside me and it inspired me to begin a spiritual quest. After buying the Quran from a local shop and reading it, he said, the Quran really shook me. It's quite a scary book to read because it tells you so much about yourself. The Hollywood actor Liam Neeson, after shooting a film in Turkey, describes the call to prayer as the most magnificent wake-up call that gets into your soul. The second reason people convert to Islam, a desire to establish a spiritual connection and as part of a search for meaning and inner peace. For converts, Islam fills a void in their societies. In fact, the Pew Research Center found that the top reason for converting was finding more meaning in Islam. An article about the issue in the Huffington Post says, converts to Islam are spiritual seekers who are looking for meaning in their lives and better ways to connect with God. Iman Jamal Rahman, in his book, Spiritual Gems of Islam, says over the centuries, Islamic sages have gleaned timeless spiritual insights and practices from sacred texts, meditation, and knowledge of the heart. New Muslims are motivated to embark on a journey to tap the fountain of Islamic spirituality. Number three, the rituals of Islam are also another reason people are attracted to the faith. Converts realize that Islamic practices like fasting are a way of achieving self-control rather than a restriction of personal freedom. Yentl, a Belgian Muslim who converted to Islam in 2018, says, During Ramadan, I feel much closer to God. I feel like I can start anew and that all my sins have been forgiven. Christiane Bakker, the former MTV and NBC presenter who converted to Islam, describes Ramadan as a test of willpower, which is not only a period of renunciation and self-discipline, but also as a process of physical and spiritual cleansing. She says the Islamic fasting month gives her a sense of closer proximity to God. Furthermore, she says, once the 30 days are completed, a certain euphoria sets in. I feel cleansed, fulfilled and closer to God. It is a wonderful feeling. I wish this high would last forever. At university, Sarah Ager, who was known for her Christian faith and recently converted to Islam, explains, perhaps unsurprisingly, it is during Ramadan when most Muslims refrain from food and drink during daylight hours that she appreciates the practical aspects of her faith her dress, prayer, routine, and the discipline of fasting. 
She also continues to reflect on Islamic prayer, saying the fact that I pray five times a day now means I have to stop what I'm doing. Even if I'm grumpy, we pray in a very physical way. You can't just pray in your head. You have to engage physically, having to bow and lean. Number four in the four all humans reasons why people convert to Islam, many attribute their conversion to their search for logical and intellectual answers to theological and life questions. For example, Natalia Darwich, a religious person who is active in her church community in central Switzerland, says she found logical answers to her questions when she came across the Quran. Teresa Corbin, an American writer, describes in her online article for CNN, I'm a feminist and converted to Islam, her experiences. She says, my journey to Islam began when I was about 15 years old and I had questions about my faith. The answers from teachers and clergymen didn't satisfy me. As I studied the Islamic faith, I was surprised. Many of the tenets resonated with me. I was pleased to find that Islam teaches its adherents to honor all prophets from Moses to Jesus to Muhammad, all of whom taught mankind to worship one God and to conduct ourselves with higher purpose. Corbin further emphasizes that she was drawn to Islam's appeal to intellect and astounded that science and rationality were embraced by Muslim thinkers like al Khwarizmi, who invented algebra, Ibn Farnas, who developed the mechanics of flight before da Vinci, and al Zawrawi, who is the father of modern surgery. So we've discussed the attraction to an intriguing aspect of the Islamic culture as a cause for conversion to Islam, the search for meaning and a more spiritual path, the fascination with Islamic rituals, and finding logical relevance. The fifth and final reason in our discussion here at For All Humans is the search for community. Many converts speak of the feeling of community that they experience in their journey to Islam. Muslims across cultures are known to be very generous in welcoming people into their society. A representative in the Islamic Center in the UAE who oversees many residents becoming Muslims says, I think it's because they see the sense of community and they see Muslims fasting and praying, referring to Muslims gathering together to break their fast and to pray during the month of Ramadan. An article in The Economist describes how people can become fed up with lewdness, obscenity and indecency in their societies. They seek a sense of common purpose where Muslims from a variety of backgrounds can come together to form a diverse community which strongly emphasises the notions of decency, morality and modesty. We hope you enjoyed this episode, so let us know what you think in the comments section. Meanwhile, share this with your friends and stay tuned for the next one. I feel like this was a heartwarming video for me, at least. I don't know about you guys. Feel free to comment below. Um, she speaks of everything someone would want to hear. And I don't feel like there's anything that I would say to contribute to this. But I'm seated here asking myself what exactly I admire about Islam. For one, it's um, the closeness. I love how close people appear, especially during Ramadan, of course. I'm not sure if they're always that close outside Ramadan, outside the month of Ramadan, but people seem to have this community as she said you know they're so close you feel like you're not going through life alone but you're going through it with others that are by your side that understand what you're going through and all that other than that um what else do i admire otherwise i think that's the biggest one for me and if i had to convert that would be my biggest reason also um yeah so that's about it let me know what you guys think about this video i enjoyed it hope you enjoyed it as well your comments are always welcome down below motivate me by giving me stuff to you have to just give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video